Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to show you guys how I catch otters. All I do is like a toilet blind set type deal. I caught one otter here last week, but all the footage got ruined because my mic messed up. But I know today we got a coon down there. That's the problem with it is sometimes you catch coons, but I caught an otter in two days. I know there's more otters in here, so I'm going to show you guys how I make them sets. And then I'm going to go over to a different spot on a straight up toilet spot. And I'll show you guys how I do that. Alright, see you guys down there. We got our huge coon down here. He got both traps, but we'll get him taken care of and I'll show you guys how I make this set. So what makes this spot so good, this is a beaver, old beaver lodge right there. And we had took 12 beaver out of it. And we took three or four otters out of here last year. Not here, but all around. The otters are starting to go into this beaver lodge when it was all icy, we could tell. They come up on this bank and it's, this was all otter poop all right in here there's some right over here but all we do is we just put this trap it's just a blind set because they have a trail right here and then goes up there and then this is where we just caught the coon but there's another trail right there so all we do is put put the trap in the ground put a stick or something in front of it and hopefully they just step over it and these otter they'll just come in here and they'll mess around play with them usually there's a group of them and that's how I catch them. That's my best success for catching them. So I'll show you guys how I do it. You guys might hear a lot of geese in the background. But this trap's already dug out a little bit. But we just take our hammer. I got peat moss. And we're just going to make this hole a little bit bigger. So the trap can bed down. You don't want it too deep. Since it's just a blind set, it doesn't really matter how much covering you got on it. We're not trying to catch coyotes here, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Hammer that down. Clear out these levers a little bit. All right, so I can get the trap to bed down now. All right, so I'm gonna take some peat moss so this doesn't freeze up. It shouldn't, because it's gonna be about 50 degrees all next week. Got my pan cover. Just take your trap, bed it down in there, make sure it beds good. And I'm gonna set this. So I got night latch on these 550s. Oh, here's my old cover. We're just going to put that on top, like that, take our peat moss, put it all around. We still want our trap to be bedded fairly solid, just in case they step on the levers. You don't want that trap to flip up. Just like that. And then we're gonna take some of this old dirt that this coon got up. Now I'm gonna take this stick, I'm gonna put it right there. So hopefully if they come up this trail, they just step on the pan. And that's all I do. Usually there's a lot more otter poop, but the otter I caught last week basically ruined this whole set. But obviously there's still animals coming through. All right, that's how I do my otter sets. I'm going to go do another one here pretty shortly, so I'll have three out. All right, see you guys. Well, we're at the next spot. I'm not going to set this set today because there was just 25 geese right here. But I'm going to show you guys what to look for. You're going to look... Let me get out of the way. You're going to look for otter poop everywhere. There's some goose poop in there. But look how much otter poop's there. You got some on the bank. But I'm not going to set this today because I really don't want to catch a goose out of season. Plus, you can't trap them. But uh, that's how you catch otters. That's the best way for me. It works. They're always going to go to them toilets and poop. And they just play around. That's what otters do. They play around, mess around, kill a bunch of fish for fun. And that's the easiest way to catch them. So, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. See you guys.